All right, let's get a move on. But I would like to skin some animals. I just don't know where they are. Got attacked by a jaguar. I am okay if I don't get attacked by another one. But if I can find one on the prowl and get the skin for it, I'll be happy to. Because I just want this optional sync thing. I especially don't want to do this mission all over again. I'm probably gonna fail it. Uh oh. Does he have a gun? <laughs> what a madman! A sight not to follow! <laughs> Jesus, you've lost your head, man! It's a fair exchange for finding these flintlocks and grenados. Listen, Vane. We can hunt with those guns. <laughs> and I made so! Catch Vane. Kill? Kill? No escaping me! I don't want to kill him, but okay. Do I have a gun? No, it just... Okay. Ow! Blow off some lead. What do I have? I have a throwing knife. Supposedly. Hey. Throwing knife. Ah! I got him! What happened? What the fuck just happened? I throwing knifed him, and I poofed him out of existence itself, apparently. Okay. I, I'm gonna assume that, like, I was supposed to blow up that, that barrel next to him. You keep this up, and I'll have to kill you, Vane! Bloody try! By all means! Hey! No! You fucking stupid giant cat! Get back here! You gonna attack me? Then you'll pay the consequences! Yeah! There! Got myself another fucking black jaguar. Skin three animals. Well, I've got two. Maybe I can find another one along the way. Before we have to catch Vane. Dude, no! I'm in a real tire, you shit, Vane. Don't laugh at me. Ah, uh, let's see what kind of thing we got. Not an elite plan. Oh, look, crocodile. <laughs> I'm gonna stab it. Meow! Come on, stab it, Kenway! Stab it! I need its skin! Fine, we'll leave it be. That guy just fucks off. It's like, okay! I'm a crocodile. I get it. <sighs> Crocodiles are kinda cute. In the reptilian that could kill you kind of derpy kind of way. Baby crocodiles are absolutely adorable. No? No? Did a black jaguar glitch into the ground or some shit? Cause I it had the attack sound, and there's a fucking marker there, and yet nothing happened. Okay. I guess that's one of the best things you could ask for. Hey, that animal that's trying to kill me? Sunk into the world itself. Doesn't make sense, I know, but... Whatever. That better not be, like, the actual third thing I was supposed to kill. It probably was. I'm not looking forward to this mission again. It's either you or me who's leaving this island alive, Welcher! Because I'm not going to sail again in a world cursed by your ugly bug! Huh! Alright, I'll kill you then. You had your chance, man. I'll 
put you out. Yeah, you let to actually flush me out. I'm coming to you. Don't worry. Pretty fast way too. Bloody run! You'll be all that's left of you, cowboy. Yeah, this is a perfect area for me to climb. I'll blow you to hell. I just think I can take a chance to look around. Just in case there's an enemy somewhere or an animal. Yep, nope, that jaguar that glitched in the ground, or at least the one I couldn't see. I don't know. It was either glitching the ground or something. You can't hide, can we? I'm not trying to hide. I'm trying to climb. So I can air assassinate you. Uh, I'm not looking forward to doing this all over again. Blow off some legs. You goddamn fucking knee vein! Nancy boy! You only done half a fucking job. Fucking hell. Is this my reward for believing the best about men? For thinking that a bilge rat like you could muster up some fucking sense once in a while? Maybe Horner Gold was right. Maybe the world does need men of ambition to stop the likes of you from mucking it all up. <laughs> or maybe... You just don't have the stones to live with no regrets. <laughs> don't save me a spot in hell, Shanka. I ain't coming soon. Okay. <laughs> and we're leaving the island, which means I probably should have done all the side stuff as well. Ah, fucking. Oh, hey, look! Air assassinating him was a side objective. Good for me. It was an okay one. Except for the fact I failed in two regards. One, didn't get the three skinned animals. Mostly because you, you can't fucking stab a, a crocodile. Why? <laughs> and then I didn't get the. I, I had to go back for the mines too. Oh, jeez. Okay. Really? That's it? That's sequence eight? Jesus, we are 9 out of 13. We are rapidly nearing the end, and I still have, like... 60% of the game left to collect. <laughs> All the assassin missions, the fucking Mayan stones. I should get on that. Once we reach a good point in the story, just take a little break. May 17, 19. Yay, we're back to our cove! Stealing a fishing schooner single-handed. Damn canny, Captain. As is taking back my break from this pillock. Once again, I thank you both. This Billy Huff didn't last two months with your ship before he came limping back to Nassau. Took the pardon straight away. I had to, lads. That Rogers was on to me from the first. Hold your tongue, Rackham. So what now? Still chasing your elusive fortune? Aye, and I'm close. I've heard the sage is sailing out of Kingston on a ship called the Princess. Put your ambition to better use, Kenway. Find the sage with us. I've no stomach for you and your mystics, Mary. I want a taste of the good life. An easy life. No one honest has an easy life, Edward. And it's aching for one that causes the most pain. All right, Rackham. Back to retirement. Hmm. Well, at least we're back out on it. I guess this is a good part of any to take a break. And then when we get back, I'm going to take the opportunity to finish up collecting all the interesting things like the Templar keys. And Mayan stones, I definitely need to get those so I can get the the armor inside of my place yeah. and whatever the fuck the secret is at um whatever the secret is with the temp with the assassins. We'll see. So we're right back. Okay, welcome back to Assassin's Creed 4. I am chilling out in my feline outfit. 
because people were complaining about me sticking with the outfit that I really liked. Oh. Anyways, we won't be having this skin for very long, but for now I'll have it while we go out and do a lot of things. So we've reached the point of the game where I'm kind of scared to continue the actual storyline. Because last we left off, we were like, we're gonna go to Kingston, and we're gonna go deal with the Observatory, and so that's something I am a little bit wary about. So instead of, of jumping straight into that, I do want to do a little bit of finishing up a lot of the different side content. I already, as you can see from the, from the very clear or very clear map here I went off and got all the uncharted collectibles and my god is that like the most tedious thing I've done in a long while I mean it's not so bad to be able to go to a place say like Havana and then run around a town and gather everything you know on foot it's a massive hassle to sail the entire ocean for over a hundred individual collectibles. That really sucked, but I finished it. I did a fuck. Uh, I um I did a couple of other places. I did this place. That's the only one I actually really did. I didn't mean to do it. I just wanted to get it as like a fast travel place so I could go there eventually, like instantly, like over here. Um or rather here, Mysteriosa. I sailed through there, got off my ship, and then went back on my ship like, okay, we're gonna use that to fast travel. Actually, no, I think I did this one too. Yeah, because this is where the, I was actually, this was the first place I stopped by. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get all the collectibles. Anything that's on a random island, I'm gonna get. And I did that for a few places, and I stopped by here, and I was like, <gasps> Templar mission? Oh shit, no, I shouldn't touch this place at all. So, we're gonna start doing some missions, that's really all we have left over, we have the collectibles inside of all these places I haven't been to, and some of the places I have been to, and missions! So hopefully, you know, these missions will be relatively fun, in fact, you know what, let's go do the Templar one first, we'll do a little bit of a mix, because obviously the assassination contracts are gonna be the really tedious ones, but the assass- uh, the Templar hunt ones are actually kinda cool, at least for- the one we did, you know, that was like a nice little chain, it had a storyline, it had a character that I could give a shit about, and we just kind of left him off with his own thing after we killed his brother and his brother's fake Chinese Templar girlfriend. That was fun. So we'll see what, what this one is about. But yeah, so I mean, if you if you care about like the off-screen collectible stuff I did, just let me know because I recorded all of it. Um, there are many there are many moments where I just pause for like 30 minutes to go do other stuff, but I could like chop that up and upload that if you guys care about that. Or maybe I'll just chop it up and make it into like a little montage thing. I actually haven't really decided because I was focusing on playing uh, Starbound. <laughs> the initial phase of Starbound, so my bad about that. Okay, before we do the Templar hunt, we are gonna actually bother getting all these things. Oh, okay. These letters. So I got the last. Letter, at least what seems to be the last letter in the giant chain of letters that there are. And so this guy is definitely the sage. As you can see, like, down here, as it's, it just straight up goes, on being a sage. And then in the first ones, we read that, you know, he said, my love, and what, what, yada, yada. So I actually have a theory. I have a theory that the sage is somehow connected to Juno in some kind of way. Maybe she implanted, like, genetics that would pass through humanity and pop up every once in a while and it'd be like the same general guy who has a different life and sometimes different perspectives on things. But, okay, so we have this guy. And in the modern day, we have John, okay? John? We haven't seen John's face yet. And I think that's for a very good reason. Okay? <laughs> you don't just randomly hide it. They showed us Rebecca. They, sh they showed us Rebecca from the get-go. They showed us Sean relatively from the get-go. Um, so they're not afraid about like going, Hey, oh, things are going on here. Until now we've got this new character. And this whole conspiracy thing about a guy who can, you know, come back every so hundred years or so. Mmm. So I definitely think that John is a sage, and he wants to bring back Juno, and all those letters and things like that were from him. For some reason, the sage is really like writing out a lot of thoughts, except at least this other one had a little bit more consistency, you know? 
John seems to be, if it is really John, how the hell am I gonna get up here? I'm looking for a tree that allows me to climb up to this other tree. So maybe this one will let me do it. It's got a little branch. Okay, no, I cannot climb that one. I climb the tree. Can I just climb the tree in general? No. Sometimes it takes a while to find the appropriate path. Aha! Here we go. This looks like a, a proper area. Especially because, like, yeah, if you're not looking straight up, like, okay, which place has, like, a two-branch two thing for me to jump off? Yeah, it could be a problem. Mm -hmm. That would just hold right trigger and jump forward. Yeah! Okay. So where, what else do we have left on this place? We have three... One fragment, one chest, and then one secret. I don't know what the secret is, but we have this chick. Hello, I think it's the chick. I don't know, I kind of... I came over here earlier, I was like, whoa, whoa, who are you? Oh, okay, you look like a girl, and then I left. A girl assassin leader. Bureau person. Looks like a girl. Has the ponytails. Uh... For some reason, less clothes on in the middle. Skinny, feminine figure. Totally a chick. Opia? Oh, easy, m'lady. Yep. Just thought you might like some help. Why? What is your real motive? Your name was on a map. You may have sold it to a nest of Templars in Hera. We all make mistakes. Oh, typical. Twist a Templar blade to our back to play safer to her face. Look, I'll level with you, lass. I'm also looking for a key. I figure I help you. You let me keep the key if it turns up. Right. You're offended. I'll go. <laughs> we will challenge you to a hunting contest. Gather more skins than us, and you win. What? Really? Easy. Let's go. Lady, I'm wearing the fucking skin of... of Ocelots and Jaguars. And you think that, um... Okay. What is that? Is that a beaver? It's a beaver! Shot! <laughs> That's not a thing. I don't know, beavers... Beavers were so cute! <laughs> In this Assassin's Creed 3. Alright. Now we just gotta go get the other one. We might as well reload our gun. One thing, look that... Oh, there he is! That's not fast. What? Motivating. How'd she do that? How does she have more than me? Or how'd she take it out? That's bullshit. Okay, alright. I'm looking for a new one. It looks like she left this skin here. No. Well, lady! My future grandson! How- Dude, she's killing these things way too fucking fast! Oh, thank god. Okay, I got one. Anyways, my fucking... ...grandson... ...is gonna be an amazing, natural-born hunter. You could even say he's... ...a little similar to you. She's winning, isn't she? I don't know, it says there's something in this area. Ah, there it is. Why the fuck do I have to fight beavers? It's so random. Okay. Da -da -da, skip! That's great. I'm so not worried about what you're doing that I'm gonna grab this chest. Okay, let's move. Well, first, I don't refer to myself in, like... ...second person. <laughs> what makes you think I can beat us? Um... Sanity. That's pretty good. That's always relatively fantastic. Where the hell is this beaver? Yeah, it doesn't seem to be the case. Whoa! White Jaguar! Interesting! Oh, what's up? The White Jaguar. A fine catch. You have more than proven yourself. We accept your help. With what? Look. Uh-oh! Frigate. 
Why? Is there anything out there but fish? No. Those are your Templars. You have a ship and a pale face, vessel and passport. Meet us at Rankaiman to help us investigate. Alright. Sure. Templar hunt. One. Oh! Uh, was I supposed to do this? This is like the first chick? Okay. Oh, she's the first of the ones considered. Kill a white jaguar. Yeah, I did it. I guess I'll skin it and sell it. Skin. Something like that. <laughs> okay, not gonna skip you in a mission. There you go. Yep, just meat and guts everywhere. Skin, skin each type of animal. Really? I've done that? That was the last thing I needed to kill in order to kill every single or skin every type of enemy? Hmm. Wait, no, see? Okay, wait. Kill a red howler monkey. Hmm. Harpoon and kill each type of sea animal? Oh, I have to do those challenges too to get the 100%, don't I? Crap. Pet five dogs. <laughs> I like how that's just skin five animals, kill two crocodiles, kill two monkeys, kill an ocelot with a hidden blade. Pet five dogs. All right. Let's go get this viewpoint, and then I guess we'll move on to wherever the hell she- she said Grand Cayman. And that's a little bit north. Oh, she's just around the corner now. Right? Yeah, okay, so... Sweet! I can just go there, get the last chess piece, maybe even do the assassination contract mission- Wait, didn't we go there and see if there was anything good with it? I don't even know. 